Welcome to the Pirate Handyman, where we teach you how to be self-sufficient and save some coin for your treasure chest. If you dig what we're doing, hit that subscribe button down below, it's free. And if you want to be notified every time a new video drops, hit that notification bell. Today we're going to show you how to convert fluorescent lights to LED. And what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a ballast bypass. We're going to take the ballast out of the equation. And the reason that we do that is because the ballast uses a lot of energy, um, <clears throat> a lot of electricity. So by taking that out and doing what's called the direct wire method, we take the ballast out and it should lower your energy bills. So the first thing we're going to do is go out and turn off the breaker switch so we don't have any electricity going to this because that would be bad. All right, we've also turned the switch off, you know, belt and suspenders. So now we're going to take the old tubes out. So we just take them, we rotate them counterclockwise or clockwise, doesn't really matter. Pull them out. And then we almost drop it, but we saved it. And that, that's actually a good thing about the LED tubes that, that we're going to use. They're plastic. So if you do drop them, they're not going to shatter. So the next thing we're going to do is turn this little clip here. Loosen the cover. And if it's been on there a while, it's going to not want to move. And as always on the Pirate Handyman, we drop something. So we're going to take this out. And we're going to take the tubes down. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the wires that are right next to the ballast. And then we'll cut these over here too. These are the main power wires. Then we have these nuts that we have to take off. And these happen to be loose enough that I can just take them with my fingers. Otherwise, you could use a pair of pliers or a small crescent wrench. Put that back on there. In case somebody ever wants to put a ballast back on there. Now we're going to cut the wires that are near the receptacles because we're going to have to replace these. Now we'll pull these wires down. Here's our power wires, the neutral and the hot. We'll just take the wire nuts off of here. And set these off to the side. All right, now we're ready to put in the, uh, the LED receptacles. Now, one thing I want to show you on the box here. Okay, up here it says direct wire. So if you're going to do a ballast bypass, 
you want to use direct wire. Now you can get LED um, tubes that will work with the magnetic ballast or the electronic ballast, but the idea here is to take the ballast out of the equation so you can lower, lower your bills. All right, so there's two different types of receptacles on this particular brand. Now you wanna make sure that you read the instructions and it will tell you because sometimes the power goes all the way through or sometimes it's only at one end. In this case, it's only at the one end. So these receptacles here are wired and you can see here, there's markings here and per the instructions, these go, down, go into the powered receptacles. These receptacles basically just hold the other end of the tube and they're called non-shunted and that's because they don't have any wires in them at all. So we're gonna take the old ones down and put the new ones in. Okay, so there is an end cap back here and you can use a screwdriver to get up in here and you can see that just comes out comes out the one side there, so we can just pull this out. All right, so now we're going to put these back in. And remember, the wires are going on top of this. So they just slide in the same slot. push the tabs back into where they go. Make sure we push this end cap back on. And now we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, and the same thing, we just pry it away, put the tabs back in. Push that back in. Now we've got it. Now it's time to wire. Okay, so now we're gonna connect our black wires to the black wires. We're going to do it just like it came out. A little bit of a twist. Then we're going to take our wire nut, put it on, turn it clockwise until it's tight. And then you want to make sure that all of the wires are in there tightly. And we're going to do the same with the white. Twist it until it's tight. Make sure everything's, all four wires are in there securely. And I'm gonna push these up out of the way. And now we're gonna put the, the bulbs in to make sure that everything is working correctly. All right, so remember this is going to the powered end. And 
This is going to go in just the same way that the uh, old ones did, but the two pins. Push them up inside. Give it a quarter turn. Okay, now we're going to go turn the power on. So we've got the bulbs up in there. We've turned the power back on. Hit the switch. And viola. That's French. And don't, if you speak French, just it's a joke. Um, anyway, so now we know it works. So we're going to go turn the power off again. So we can put the, uh, uh, <clears throat> the panel back on it. And... Then we'll be done. Okay, so we make sure that we didn't pinch any wires. Get this pushed up here. Might have to squeeze it a little bit. And then we take our little locking mechanism. Push it up inside. doesn't line up. What you can do is you can take a screwdriver. You can move it like this and get it to line up. Push it down and turn it. locked in place. Now we're going to try it. Turn it on. And wow, look at the difference. Now we've got it. Thanks for joining us here on the Pirate Handyman. I hope you dig what we're doing. If you do, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll get notified every time a new video drops. Here's to smooth sailing.